Hi, James here. Uh, now, I haven't done a video for a while. Uh, reason being is because I've been really busy and also I've had a few personal problems as well. So, I just thought I'd kickstart things with uh, a video about Windows 7. More importantly, a little issue which I found with Windows 7 and I'll show you how to fix it in this video. Now, the problem is, um, I've, al I've always used Windows XP, okay, and uh, a while back Windows Vista came out and when it first came out I thought it looked really good, it seemed really nice, so I went out and brought Ultimate Edition. Uh, was I screwing or what? Because it was absolutely terrible. I had no end of problems, blue screens, you name it, on every single machine I installed it on. It was absolutely terrible and pff, I hated it. So basically I went back to Windows XP. Uh, then uh, Microsoft announced that they were going to release Windows 7. So I thought, well, I'm not going to go out and buy it straight away because, you know, obviously the experience I've had with Vista, uh, I was a bit reluctant. But regardless to all that, I went out and I brought Windows 7 um, Ultimate Edition and so far I can report I've had no problems, I haven't had any blue screens or anything like that, so I'm happy with it now, it seems to work fine. The only problem is, uh, I've noticed a little issue and this is an issue that not only I've had, but um, I've also installed it on a few other machines in the house as well and they've all had the same problem. And also a few customers which I've installed um, for on their machines, they've also had rang me up and said that they've had these problems as well. Um, basically, the, this issue will only affect you if you're dual booting between XP and Windows 7. See, the problem is a lot of people don't just want to straight away go right straight into Windows 7, use it as a primary operating system. A lot of people want to use uh, both. They want to be able to go back to XP if they don't like Windows 7. And if you're dual, dual, dual so I'm not going to edit this, I can't be bothered. If, uh, if you're dual booting with Windows XP and Windows 7, you may have noticed this little problem. And the problem is when you go into Windows XP, you boot back into XP, you go to my computer and you go, ah, shit, where's my CD drive? Uh, so naturally you go into Device Manager and you look in there and you can see that Windows is not actually detecting the CD-ROM drive. Uh, now, it does, it not only affects the main CD-ROM drive, it affects any CD-ROM drive you've had in your machine. I've installed it on machines that have got three CD-ROM drives and each one of them, it just didn't detect any of the CD-ROM drives. Now, I've been scratching my head for a few days trying to work this out, done a bit of digging and I've realized what the problem is. When you install uh, Windows 7 uh, alongside XP, Windows 7 Boot Manager detects that there's another older operating system installed on your machine and it goes ahead and it actually makes a few changes to the boot.ini file in uh, Windows XP but it also makes a couple of changes to the driver table and it's this changes that causes the problem with the CD-ROM drive. Now to fix this problem it's actually really simple okay you need to download a little utility called XP Quick Fix okay there's a link in the description to download it don't panic, it's virus free, it's all safe to download, I've got it on my machine. Now I just want to say I can't take the credit for showing you this little utility because this utility was actually shown to me by a gentleman that goes by the name of Brian uh, from brytech.co.uk. He showed me this little utility and uh, it's been absolute gem. It's really helped me out on loads of issues I've had with older computers that are running XP. So what you need to do is you need to download this little program and uh, we'll go onto my computer and I'll show you what to do. All right now, first thing you've got to do, obviously you've got to do all this from XP. So boot into Windows XP and uh, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is download the little um, Windows XP quick fix um, utility. So the link is in the description, so just download that and unzip the file onto your desktop. Then what you want to do is you want to right click on my computer go to properties and then at the top here you want to go into hardware click on the hardware and then go to device manager now I've already got it loaded up here so we'll just go to device manager and you can see your CD-ROM drive there now no amount of right clicking and updating drivers and whatever is going to sort this problem you need to actually sort the root of the problem so to do this you need to right click and go to uninstall okay don't panic this is not going to ruin your computer okay just click OK and that will just uninstall the, the device or the driver from your machine then what you want to do is go to your quick fix utility and find the one here that says CD slash DVD drive is missing or not recognized and just literally click 
on that and that's all it takes is just one click and then you can close that down. What you want to do then is go back into device manager and click the little button here that says scan for hardware changes. Click that and it will start to install the drive. It says there found new hardware it will install the drive, give that a second to do that and there you go, it says there it's installed, ready to use, you can see in your device manager there's no longer a problem, the drive's there and if you go back into my computer and there you go, there's the drive there. Now even though you've used this little quick fix utility to fix the problem and you've now no longer got a use for it, I would recommend keeping this anyway because there's a lot of other little useful things in here that you can use if you need to. So I would recommend keeping this. It's only a couple of hundred kilobytes. It's uh, 500 kilobytes, so it's worth just bunging in your C drive and just leave it because it's handy to use. So there you go, I hope this video has been a help and I hope you're able to fix uh, if your problem if you're having this issue. Uh, if you've got any questions regarding this, bung a comment below. Uh, you're probably better off leaving comments because my email box is so stuffed at the moment, I can't reply to all of your messages. So I'm going to reply to as many as I can. If you leave a comment, I can answer uh, a comment and I'll send you a personal message back with an answer if I can. Okay, so there you go. Thank you for watching. Nice one.